Welcome to Mega Man Maker Monday, where I play Mega Man Maker on a Monday. And this week I've got uh, the second request out of two from Marco Villum, who asked me to play level 565-108. We'll see what we got out of it. The only thing we know is that it is, uh, you know, of like a normal difficulty. And now we know it's called Nocturnal Forest. 93 plays, 34 likes to 2 dislikes, very strong reaction in favor of. So, you know, it's it, it, I'd be hard-pressed to find, um, well, it looks like we're playing as Roll. And we got Napalm Bombs, we got, uh, the, uh, we got Treble. I feel like I need to get up there. Should I bother with it? Why not? Alright, no, that, that is a platform right there. Okay, so, screw that. I feel the interesting thing about using Roll is how, like, limited her default weapon is. So, like, you're, you're highly encouraged to, in most cases, I imagine, to, you know, use your other weapons. But yeah, I don't have a lot of good ones. Like as far as long range projectiles, they're all kind of limited. I mean, there's some good weapons for what they are. For the most part, like, uh, well, this is, this is danger for up. Yeah, they're all like specialty weapons. I mean, they're all, they obviously they're all weapons are specialty weapons. But oh shit, I am low on health. Too busy dicking around with, uh... With the weapons and such. Not a very linear stage either, so it's like, okay, which way should I go? Is there a reason to go down here? Yeah, okay, there is. Uh, that's not the weapon to use. And that wasn't either. <laughs> it shows up and it's like, uh, well, what am I supposed to do? I thought that was gonna kill him automatically. You are the motherfucker that took away most of my health before, why aren't you? And I'm debating, like, should I take that path again, or should I, like, you know, see what this side of the coin has to offer? Was that, like, Airman's Owl up there? That's not a platform. Alright, um... Okay, so we got an E-Tank here. Can I go up this way? Oop. Looks like I can't. Oh no, I can, alright. Oh, okay, more optional goodies. In this case, the M-Tank. Alright, so... Alright, it's up here. That was a weirdly placed platform. I know I was just in that room, but you know... Right, I'm gonna go down this way just... Because I can't see what the hell's below me. Oh shit, alright, um... I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit here. Oh, that wasn't totally necessary either. Oh, I guess, you know, it did increase my health. I did need some, I did need a boost there. Alright, first checkpoint.
For a second, I wasn't sure if this was water or oil. If it was like the oil from uh, Flame Man, but no, they don't. That doesn't, you know, go beyond the main surface area. I guess it's not coming for me. Alright, um... Yeah, screw it. I thought I was gonna bypass both of them, but oh well. I ended up getting a refill here anyway. So, no harm, no foul. Watch out for those spikes up there. Oh, I need to actually flip these. Alright, let's see what, uh... Well, it actually works pretty good on them, too. Kind of, you know, sometimes I think to myself, okay, what's the weapon... Oh, shit. Um, what's the weapon's... The weakness of the boss gonna be? I know it's Woodman. I would think the bar the burner... I mean, but that might... You know, again, that might be too obvious. Sometimes... Sometimes you kind of, like, lulled into thinking that, like, okay, the water weapon's gonna work on the fire guy. That's always how that goes. Or vice versa, in some cases. Alright, I'm gonna start off with that one. Doesn't cut the shield. Alright, it does work pretty well on him. I don't know if it's the main weakness. You know, I hadn't done this the whole time. Fire with the uh, shot. Fully charged like that. Or not fully charged, but, uh, you know, just like a, a continuous stream of flame. Did not need the E-tanks, but... It was good to have him anyway. I'd give that one a like. Per usual. Nocturnal Forest. It was a nice stage. I like the... Uh, it was a little bit weird in some spots how um, like the background looks like the platforms. They kind of blended in with each other. Like the the, the trees, the, the leaf part of the tree. It looked it kind of blended in with the background. But well, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't really nitpicky. It didn't hinder me in any spots or anything. I mean, there was the one part where I... You know, I needed to jump, because the other side of the screen was, uh, the screen adjacent to it was blocking me off, but, you know, that's an extreme nitpick kind of a deal. So that's it for this one. Next week will be the, you know, the, uh, the season finale of Mega Man Maker and all of the weekday shows. I'm going to be taking a break, excuse me, after next week, and just doing the Sunday shows. Uh, so it'll be, you know, like the ranking the soundtracks, the Atari reviews, and the regular review and walkthroughs. That will be it for a little while. I'm going to just take a breather from this stuff. Just to come decompress and stuff. Take a break. Focus on other things. And then come back. Um, you know, in a couple months time or whatever it'll be. I'm not sure of that yet. But I will come back with it that much I do know. So that's it for this episode. 
Thanks for watching. And, you know, in that interim, uh, again, next week, there will be an episode after that. There'll be a break for some time. Um, but you can still leave requests. Feel free to leave requests for... Um, I do have a, a pile of requests that I still need to get to, including next week's. It will not be a new request, but feel free to leave requests, and I'll put them on the back burner for future episodes. Thanks for watching again, and uh, uh, see, you'll see you next time.